to the friends and members of the congregation of Woodlake Lutheran Church. Good afternoon. I am Augie Schauer, and today is another candid conversation around the finances of our church. Um, I am not going to talk about the finances directly. I'm actually going to have a little conversation around remembrance because, as many of you may know, I filmed these the day before on Monday so that they can be presented on Tuesday. Uh, so today is Monday, Memorial Day, uh, 2020. And it, it allows me to speak a little bit um, uh, to the holiday, to remembrance. Uh, I, I can remember um, uh, my grandparents, my granduncles uh, serving in the military, serving during World War I. Um, I can... I, I, parents that would serve in World War II or, or the Korean conflict. Um, contemporaries for myself, brothers and sisters, uh, or even we had a high school members who in the 70s served in our military. They were all fortunate to um, serve and many of them come back, but, but uh, some did not. Um, and it always brings to mind John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. Because the service even continues. Uh, uh, our own children, our own nieces and nephews, if you will, uh, the uh, 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 issues of in Panama, uh, uh, Afghanistan, the Mideast. Now, these are all these are all areas that um, uh, individuals had a chance to serve. They made a profound choice to stand on the wall and um, protect each and every one of us. And it is it is today that we remember that. It is today that we honor and reflect on that. Um, Psalms 46.1 God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble um, there's, a, there's another psalm 34.18 The Lord is near to the broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit um, Today in our remembrance it can bring on certain levels of sorrow but we live in the joy of those who chose to serve because they were um, first and foremost all family members they they um, were our children they were our parents they were our grandparents so it is in that spirit that I hope you have an opportunity and a chance to celebrate a chance to remember uh, and a chance to truly uh, share thanks with those who have served. Uh, I will return next week Tuesday with another update of a candid conversation that will involve uh, some of the finances of our congregation. So today, on Memorial Day 2020, I hope it finds you safe and well. Thank you very much.